Hi everyone, I would like to talk something about a new visa coming along called Global Tunnel Independent, so it is GTR visa. Now this GTR visa has its pilot scheme, which is currently running. Now, so I'm going to cross the Global Tunnel scheme and we talk about CISA. Okay. So CISA application, it's a, a Oceanian, South, South Oceanian initiative where they started to promote this type of visa last year, November, which is November 2018. Now this visa will end, the initiative will end in 2022, which is four years. Okay, four years. Now, we, it, this visa is under the, the sub-stream of 408 subclass. We all understand 408 has so many streams. I'll give you an example of a few. For example, someone came here to participate in Commonwealth game, which is sport activity. Yeah? Right? Or someone came here to do a specific project. For example, construction project, they, they just need to com come here to complete project within six months. So it's project, right? Um, the other way, they may come here to do entertainment activities, filming, right? So uh, filming is a project as well, film, or entertainment, right? Someone like performer, they want to come here to, to sing singers performing, right? So that's a lot of streams under 408. Now CISA is called South Australia um, Initiative. Um, so this type of visa I have been doing since the beginning. Now why I'm talking about this? Because this visa it's, itself is four years. Yeah. So it doesn't itself doesn't need to permanent residency. It's a pilot scheme. It itself doesn't need a permanent residency. However, the department will introduce a new visa which is more mature to the CISA, but it's pretty much the same system, really much the same system. Now, just talking about this new CISA stream here, uh, the whole process takes three, three process, three stages. Stage one, stage two, stage three. For stage one, for stage one, we would like to have the support from one of the service providers. I'll talk more about the service provider. But first of all, we need support. Okay, we need support. Once we got support from one of the service providers, then we have the endorsement from the state government. So it's kind of state nomination. So it's state. After the state nominates our you know, application, then we do the visa application. So the visa application will be 100%, right? If the client visa requirement, no, no worry need about uh, whether they're gonna be successful or not. It will be 100% guaranteed visa approval. Okay. Now, CISA is about entrepreneur visa, which means someone needs to start come here to start their business. Okay, some people might not be skilled worker, they not maybe not able to work really hard on a skill uh, system, or they might be not that successful, which they are not successful business owner they yet, they are not yet. But they have been doing their startup for quite a while and they want to test their ideas in Australian market. So this is type about startup visas. Now when, when I talk about this CISA, we have to understand we have another one. It's called Global Talent Scheme. Now, Global Talent Scheme. Now, Global Talent Scheme interesting is really interesting. It's once they introduce that we only have three applications launched. Really, three applications launched. Three. It's it's a failing. It's a failing system. Global Talent Scheme. It's under four zero two, which is TSX visa. So. The purpose is really similar to TSS visa, but 
is that the company can be a startup company, but the company itself, the idea, so the the job can be any jobs. It doesn't have to be the on the occupation list. They can say create any jobs, and give them an offer. Say you know just come here to work. It can be any work. But the global talent scheme, the company itself, the startup, the employer itself has to have the support from one of the accelerator program providers. They have six. Okay, six of them. Now the company must submit this to these six of the program program providers, and then have that endorsed, and then they can launch the normal、uh, nomination and a visa. So you can see that's an issue here, right? The company is really busy. We need to get someone to work now. So you ask me to send this thing to the one of service provider. They they probably don't understand what I'm doing. And I don't want to tell them what I'm doing because I'm startup. I don't want to tell everybody. So this is the failing system. Okay, that the we don't only have three three these application logic did and then yeah of of course they hundred percent hundred percent approval but that doesn't make sense right? We still it's not it's it's a fail. So after that, after we try this, a department we try this, Australian government try this too. Global talent not working. CISA seems alright. So now they combine this. They combine this in the third one, which is current one, which is called Global Talent Independent Visa. Global Talent Independent Visa. Now we don't know the actual requirement. I don't know the actual requirement. I read a report. The key main point is this visa will grant five thousand PR this year. This visa will grant five thousand PR this year and no, every year they will have, which means these five thousand are taken from the one A nine visa. Okay, it's really simple. They're gonna remove one A nine at the end, so they will be taken under for one and grant global talent independent visa. So where they are, they actually have someone called global talent officer, who will be sitting. Two places. One is in Canberra, and the other one is in Singapore. They'll be actively recruiting entrepreneurs to give them a visa, right? So they are actually recruiting this. Now, what's the requirement? Of course, after you are,、uh, you know, if you go through this global talent scheme and see some, you see why I understand and why we say we can do this way. Now, the visa I've done. I've done. We know and understand. They have some industry they want. They don't. They don't support at all. Some industry, traditional ones such as coffee, coffee shop, such of、uh, Chinese medicine,、uh, something like training consulting, like my service. They don't. They don't support us.、Uh, education type of thing. But they will really want to support some of innovations, innovative ideas. Uh, it can be insert into a traditional method, but really importantly, they only in, they only approve something it's really bright. It can be hundred percent a traditional、uh, market or traditional industry as long as you have some innovative ideas. But they have priority, you know, priority sectors. You might you might imagine they what they like. Okay, one of the primary in, is filming. Okay. Editing. Now, editing, filming, not just for the purpose of making a film, right? Making a film. Nowadays, we have YouTube, we have everything, and the product are sold, not just on blank. Okay, some of big brands might they have the whole、uh, editing team or filming team to to put that. Uh, product online so people can purchase the from them. So film and editing is their priority, and the other one's really high end, which is space. Okay. Now, if clients from UK, UK actually have some of the、uh, satellites which they sell to the market, which is interesting. But space, a third one is、um, something like Internet of Things, right? This is really.、Uh, Internet of Things, 
ja, Internet of Things, Digital, Cyber Security. These are really high end of the uh, products. But it doesn't restrict to this. Why? Because they are chief entrepreneurs. They, they need to find out what is going on in the market until you submit what your idea is. So it's really, really big error you can work on on, the, on this one. Now, of course, they have a re restriction for this one. Questions my, such as um, I have a Q&A if you want to find information about this one. But really about how if I don't start a business or my business is failing, you know, am I going to get PR? Now, as an entrepreneur or as a startup, it's really everybody fails like 90% of the business fails so it's fine that if you fail I'm sorry but probably you don't want to put your own money on it you can find investors so you can fail on that money failing is not an issue here the business doesn't have to make a profit that's really key point here doesn't have to pay, make, make a profit but they, they say after I come to here I don't do the business I don't just I just don't do it I just go somewhere can I can I go? no they will have compliance, okay? If you refuse to do that, they can cancel the visa, right? If you just don't go that uni and then you don't sit there doing the work, your project, they're gonna cancel the visa. And for the CISA itself, okay, um, for because I'm mainly talking about CISA, the permanent one will be, of course, will be really similar to this one, which you can promote. The CISA one, we know that, we know that, the clients cannot have a Medicare. They have to purchase their health insurance. Uh, their children, they, they, they have to pay their international student fee. But for the global talent, uh, independent, of course, it's a permanent visa. So no need to pay international fee, no need to do Medicare because you have a you know, Medicare card. Uh, in terms of business idea, pretty much really much of similar sectors, right? Similar sectors. I really, really want to attract brightest brains into our, our, our country so um this is really really good area we can work now questions people might ask age limitations so for for CISA we have age 45 okay but that's a problem for CISA because nowadays people start their own business not and to, you know they only start when they're 45 you shouldn't stop people to start a business even they are 45 right it's really age discrimination so global talent, they will increase the age, for sure, they will increase the age. And um, there were many worker working on promoting these ideas. Now, of course, you need to think, out, oh, how am I going to be approved? Who are they approved my, my, my business idea? Currently, I have been working for four sectors, four universities, including one of them where they own startups as well. So universities such as Adelaide University, and the other one is Flinders University, uh, the third one is South Australia University, and the other one is Moonshine. Okay. Okay. So these are four four service providers who can give support to visa applicants. So as as a visa agent, we work together with uh, with the pro, uh, program providers. For the global talent, of course, we have a new state, which means we have a Queensland, we have uh, New South Wales, and Victoria, which these universities, the main universities, such as you know, universe, uh, new, new South Wales, they will become service provider. They will become the someone who approve your business idea. So the question is asked, how likely the visa will be approved? It? Right? How likely? Now, if you can get your support, this is a government support scheme. It's really different to other type of visa. Because the other type of visa, you still need to prove these skills again, right? You have to say, even if you've got positive skill assessment, they'll say, oh, I don't trust you. Yeah, I don't trust you. Uh, you have to give the letters, to employment, whatever. But for this, because it's supported by government, support by government, which means you don't need to prove a lot of your skill base. You just need to have a bright business plan and a workable, workable, um, you know, business plan strategy. Now, the difference between CISA, okay, um, the difference between CISA, a huge difference, 
it's where CISA doesn't require you have to have a client base already, which they can approve you simply on your own business idea. You can be on one man army. You can be one man person. You, you don't need to have a team. You don't need to prove I have, you know, I have clients. I have ongoing clients. I have ongoing payment income. Now for global talent independent, you cannot just be at one person. You have to have a team. Not probably not team. You can be one person, but you have to have your client base. You have to be running on the startup already. And the concept has to be has the international. You your company can become, you know, you can your company can become grub. Right? Your com can become Uber. Okay? Your program can become Facebook. Okay? Where well, it has the international reach and that your business idea either have two areas. One is you have recurring payments from clients, they need you all the times. The other one, you can expand your uh, business uh, internationally. So you can have a lot of office, a lot of franchises working for you. So these two business ideas, I think that what they are looking, really looking at. I hope this uh, explained well about CISA and Global Talent Independent. If you have any questions, send me an email.